If you're looking for an amazing melt-in-your-mouth cake, then you've got to try my sour cream pound cake recipe. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. This pound cake will be ready before you know it, so let's get started. First off, set that oven to 325. We're using a lower baking temperature, so it's beautiful, golden, and really moist. Now we're gonna add three cups or 360 grams of all-purpose flour to a large bowl. I'm measuring it out so I can know exactly how much is in there. Cups are not the most accurate. To that flour, I'm adding one teaspoon of kosher salt, and this has a larger grain size than some of the fine-grained salt you might have on your table, so if you're using fine-grained salt, add a little bit less, and you go. For leavening, we're using half a teaspoon of baking soda. All right, our scale is done. We're gonna give this a quick whisk just to combine all the ingredients and set it aside. Now it's time for the wet. I'm adding one cup or 226 grams of unsalted butter into my stand mixer. You could definitely use a large bowl and a hand mixer or unsalted butter if you want that as well. We need six eggs for this recipe. They should be room temperature and make sure to crack them into a bowl. Don't try and crack them into your mixer. That's a recipe for disaster. Speaking of which, I see two little pieces of a shell. No shell for us. We're gonna cream this butter up really quickly before we add the sugar, just to get it started. Now we're ready to add three cups or 300 grams of granulated sugar. We can add this in a few batches. Here's two cups and start on low, otherwise it would go We want this to get nice and fluffy. So we're gonna scrape the bowl down. We're gonna let it mix for a few minutes. We're in no rush. Now for the other cup. Mix on high until it is fluffy. It's looking fluffy, but we're gonna scrape the bowl down. Whoa, it's like a sugar butter cloud. So scrape the bowl down, it's fluffy on the inside, it's kind of compressed down below. We're gonna mix it up one more time. While it mixes this time, we're gonna add one tablespoon or 15 ml of a nice vanilla. This is the main flavor, so get a good one. The smell is so nice. It's time for our six eggs. Add them in one at a time while mixing. Let it incorporate. This is a process that you can just go slow and steady. Almost there. Before this goes too far, I wanna scrape the bowl down one last time. And by the by, this is Brian's favorite cake of the moment. Brian, why do you like it so much? It's good. <laughs> it's a tasty cake. If you notice that the mixture is broken right now, meaning you see little granules of butter kind of suspended in the mix, do not worry, that's okay. We're gonna whip this up for another minute or two, but that's gonna get solved when we add the flour mixture in. Mix it up one more time. Okay, I have to show you this, it looks beautiful. Look at this whipped confection. By whipping it longer, the butter reincorporated and I don't even have to worry about anything. It's gonna be perfect. There's two tricks when you're baking a cake. One, measure the flour correctly. If you're packing flour into your measuring cup, it's gonna be dense and bready and no bueno. If you over mix the cake, it'll come out of the oven looking perfect. Your hopes will be high, but as it cools, it'll contract back down and become dense and tough. So do not over mix this. Mix until just combined and we're gonna finish it off with our spatula. My rant for the day. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna add in about half of the flour right now. Don't worry if it's a little bit more or less. Mix that in on low, and then alternate with eight ounces of sour cream. Sour cream is a magical ingredient that'll add so much moisture, a little bit of tang, just make everything totally delicious. Okay, it's mostly mixed in. I'm gonna add the sour cream in. We get a lot of questions from uh, viewers asking about the difference between baking soda and baking powder. And like, what do you use both, or one or the other? And here's the deal. Baking soda needs an acid to react to, so if you have another acid in the batter, it'll rise up. Baking powder, it's one and done, you don't need any acid. If you're wondering where's the acid in this cake, 
it's in the sour cream. Sour cream is slightly acidic. It'll react with the baking soda and give you a nice fluffy cake. All right, mix in the sour cream now on low, mostly mixed in. And we're gonna finish off with the remaining bit of flour. In you go. Mix until almost combined. Keep an eagle eye on this, don't walk away. And now the remaining bit of sour cream. Okay, last mix with this. Okay, it's like 85% of the way done. I'm gonna finish it off by hand now. So we're going to just get in any of the unmixed bits, little streaks of sour cream here and there, go to the bottom, and it'll be ready to pour. This is set, now we're gonna get our bunt pan out. We're almost set, but the last and such an important step is to grease your bunt pan really well. I have a big bunt pan out here, and I'm gonna use baking spray, which is a combination of like a fat with some flour mixed in. If you don't have baking spray, you're gonna to wanna to use butter and flour and be really consistent. You wanna get even coverage. Add this into our pan and just smush it around a little bit because you wanna have a nice beautiful top once this is inverted out. Once you have about half of the batter in, use your spatula and just shimmy it across so that you can um, kind of tamp away any air bubbles. Right now, we can add the rest of the batter in. So whenever I make this cake, it goes onto a cake plate and we cover it with a dome. And then somebody just sneaks on by and has occasional snacks and is very happy. So I really enjoy making this cake since Brian gets a special treat on demand. Right before it goes into the oven, just tamp it down into the oven, 325 for about 80 minutes. And I'll show you how to get this out once we're done. My cake baked for about 70 minutes. I waited for it to stop making that little bubbling sound before I took it out of the oven. And now we're gonna flip it over. Oh, it released. I'm so happy about that. Okay, this cake is delicious as is, but no one will say no to a dusting of powdered sugar on top. A light dusting, what a little bit of contrast and a touch of sweetness. Golden on the outside, delicious moist crumb on the inside. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my vanilla playlist. Beyond delicious. I'll see you in the next video.